He addressed Ab in that joint. Ab wasn't on the interview. That was really it. I mean, you could have said however you fit it. However you felt about what Pretty Flock said, you could have addressed that. But you used that time to address Ab. Like he was on the interview. Pretty Flock was saying what he, he was saying what happened. He felt, you know, however he felt. I wasn't there doing none of this stuff, though. So I was just, you know, listening like everybody else. He was saying how he felt about what happened and, you know, Cass, you, you are entitled to respond because he was talking about you. But Ab wasn't talking about you, so what, what made you go there? Well, I remember he was telling me, um, well, it came on the news about the cops, uh, the barricade situation. And they had y'all on the porch and all that, that was going on. Oh, yeah, 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 was, yeah was, was And I didn't know he was a part of that. I just seen the news. Yeah. yeah, they thought it was me shooting. They was yeah. had it on there like it was me shooting. I'm texting people saying, yeah, I ain't. They had all those social media. I'm supposed to be texting people like, yeah, I ain't going out like that. They got to kill all this weird stuff. But I'm in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. I can't text nobody. It so was that, going on two hours down for me. So you was just on the porch and they just. SWAT team ran in, they ran in the crib. No, no, it was the regular cops, you know, regular narcotic cops, they came. I guess they thought that we were selling drugs or something, so the, the they ran in the house that we was at and it was empty. So for some reason, I don't know why, they went two doors down to my man's house. And, you know, I guess the tenant ain't wanna go back to jail that day. One of the tenants ain't wanna go to jail that day. He went, but you know, I feel like he wasn't even supposed to be in there. The warrant what they had wasn't for that house. They just broke in basically. So, uh, cause I remember it was like a, a standoff for a minute and I guess his lawyer called, he got a lawyer and the lawyer talked to the lawyer and that's when he walked out the crib. Yeah, so do you know about the last situation, the guy that was in there, do you know if he throwing the case out or? I don't know, I don't really know. Uh, I ain't really follow up on it. You know, they've been bad. You know, when they when he got locked up, it was big news. When he first went to court, it was big news. Now they putting a the hush on it. So I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. Because I ain't really know the guy. You know? No. Uh, tell him to be living there. Yeah, I don't really. I ain't know him. We, I ain't say three words. Like, we never had a conversation or nothing. I don't know. I ain't know he was <laughs> going to do that. That was crazy. I just bought a new toy today, so the chances of me getting body probably slimmer than Koi Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim brother with the bull ties. Like, look that nigga in bull ties. <laughs> I want to talk about um, you responding to Cassidy on Queen's Flip. What made you uh, go off on Cassidy? Well, not go off, or just say what you said. So because he addressed Ab in that joint. Mm -hmm. Ab wasn't on the interview. That was really it. I mean, you could have said however you, fit, said, however you felt about what Pretty Flock said. Mm -hmm. You could have addressed that. But you used that time to address Ab, like he was on the interview. Pretty Flock was saying what he, he was saying what happened. He felt, you know, however he felt. I wasn't there doing none of this stuff though, so I was just, you know, listening like everybody else. He was saying how he felt about what happened, and you know, Cass, you you are entitled to respond because he was talking about you. But Ab wasn't talking about you. So what what made you go there? It was weird to me. Uh, you wouldn't say two things. You wouldn't say two words about that when he was on the streets. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that was kind of weird. How was the um, friendship? Uh, I know outside looking in, so they're very close. Who that? Uh, A.R. and Cassidy. Um, I don't know. Because they are. Uh, yes. Have you talked to Cassidy since then? I've never Cassidy. talked to Cassidy in my life. Uh, yeah, no, I don't really should be on Cassidy. No, yeah, no.
when they first, when they first, when I was young, before I went to jail, I mean, we got, I was around, we, you know, we was around each other a few times, but yeah, we never yeah. did some rap and shit together. I rapped against him before, but it wasn't, now we young. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I was no guy. Gotcha. Um, I know like the Alabama situation that just happened, I don't want to get your opinion on that. The blacks fighting whites, but I think his situation with Mikey T happened before that. You feel me? But you <laughs> punch him on Mikey T. I didn't really punch him. Did I punch him? Yeah, I wasn't yeah, really was trying to up. punch him. I never was trying to punch him. I was just trying to like choke him and smack him. Mm. That was just if, you know for being disrespectful. But he like get to squirming like a pig. Yeah, he kind of threw me off. My, you know what I intended to do turned into something a little bit more. But I knew not to. Go all the way, mm -hmm. fucking blogger, man. Did you speak to him since, or? Um, no, no, I don't really have. I never really had a problem. He caught me on a bad day. Usually, I would let little blogger stuff go because I know it's like it's a blogger. Let it go. But I was going through something that morning, man, where I couldn't let it go. I was like, it was a bad morning for me. 